Welcome to the studio. The last video was the warning. This video is the reality check. In the last 48 hours, the response has been massive. I've seen thousands of comments from you. I also saw the breakdown from William Kirk over at Washington Gun Law. He highlighted my recent video and X posts and asked for me to reach out to discuss this technical side of this bill. William? Consider it done, I'll be contacting you. And I'm sure we're gonna have a very enlightening conversation about this technology. And I will share all of that with you here. But right now, looking at the reaction to this bill, I think many of you are missing a larger point, And that's really the reason for this video. This bill isn't just about 3D printed firearms. And there seems to be a lot of confusion about that. That is the Trojan horse. The language in Washington House Bill 2321 is focused heavily on manufacturers. It requires aggressive blocking technology, and it requires a database of prohibited files. Right now, that database might be focused on firearm components. But who manages that database? The Washington State Attorney General. Who decides what gets added to that database next year? The Attorney General. Once that infrastructure is built, once your printer has a direct line to a state-run list of banned shapes, do you honestly think that they're going to stop at firearms? This brings me to the scariest part. This is the perfect framework for copyright enforcement. Today, it's a Glock frame, which many of you might not even care about. But tomorrow, that database updates, and suddenly your printer refuses to print a Star Wars helmet because Disney flagged it. Next week, you can't print a replacement part for your truck or tractor because Ford and John Deere claim it violates their IP. They are building an architecture of censorship right inside your home. And they're selling it to you as public safety. There is a dangerous idea floating around in the comments of my previous video that pre-ban machines are safe. You think that because you own a 3D printer today that you are grandfathered in forever but you're wrong. They aren't going to allow a million unregulated manufacturing factories to exist in basements across Washington and New York. History shows us exactly how this plays out. They start with the sale. They stop the flow of new devices. Then they work backward. They will use safety to force mandatory firmware upgrades or they will simply pass a new law that says possession of a non-compliant device after a certain date, is a felony. We have seen this with firearms and firearms accessories. People bought items that were 100% legal. They owned them for years. Then a ruling changes, and overnight, without doing anything wrong, these owners became criminals. Your two-year-old printer that doesn't have this government spyware installed, it will be deemed a public safety threat. Now, some of you are thinking, that's fine. I'll just fly under the radar. I'll keep my old printer, and I'll just stay quiet. Well, that works for most people, but we're moving into an era where privacy is basically dead. Here's a quick story. I live on a rural ranch, and during the height of the lockdowns, I took my oldest son out for a driving lesson with our truck and trailer. We were in the middle of nowhere. I mean, probably population three out there on some rural road. Later that week, I got a call from a friend of mine in law enforcement. He told me someone had called and reported me to the state for violating the stay-at-home mandate. Now, we laughed about it because it was absurd and nothing came of it. They weren't enforcing it anyway, but it taught me a valuable lesson. If you post a picture of your printer online, if you share a photo of a print, you are one phone call away from a concerned citizen reporting you to the state. If possessing a non-compliant printer becomes illegal, you are trusting your freedom to the silence of your neighbors. So ultimately, what this means if a law like this passes, you can't rely on having an older machine or older existing hardware to be safe. You will be likely forced into the new hardware. Now, a couple of years ago, I asked my community if they ever thought government would require licenses for machine shops. Overwhelmingly, they all said no, that that was a conspiracy theory. But things look a little bit different now, don't they? This bill includes subtractive manufacturing. It specifically speaks of CNC machines or any machine that is controlled by code that removes material from an object. It then includes a section that exempts your machines, including 3D printers, if 
you have a federal firearms license. This is a full-on press on manufacturing and machine shops, not just our 3D printers. They are destroying at-home manufacturing by requiring all of these machines to comply with a ridiculous level of complexity or be licensed. Your at-home Carvera CNC machine? It will be illegal unless it connects to the same blacklist system as your 3D printers. The state wants all machine shops to be licensed or illegal. There's no longer a hobby or small business middle ground. So I have a question for you. Something to think about. Since the legislation is so broad and far-reaching, could hobby 3D printers come to an end? Will this all end with 3D printers existing only in licensed 3D print firms? And if so, would you license, go get an FFL to have your 3D printers in your farm? Let me know in the comments. Now, let's look at the companies in 3D printing. Bamboo Lab, Prusa, Creality, and so many more. Do you think that they're going to manufacture a special Washington State Edition printer? And a different one for the rest of the country? No, absolutely not. This would be a logistical nightmare. The pressure from these states... Washington, New York, California is immense. If these markets demand spyware, it is cheaper and safer for these companies to roll out software to everyone. Now, we've already seen FlashForge capitulate on similar issues, right? You all saw the email and the social media posts where they were way ahead of this type of legislation, basically saying, hey, don't print these things on your printer or we're going to report you. So quite a bit of overreach there. If this passes, Bamboo isn't going to fight for your rights. They're going to calculate the liability and they will likely decide that it's easier to install the handshake code for everyone than to risk losing access to the US market, which is the largest market in 3D printing. And don't think that you can just use an old slicer with a new printer. This bill implies a handshake. The software must authenticate the hardware. If your slicer doesn't have the government update, the printer won't print. Understand this. The smaller 3D printer companies, Artillery, Sovol, Chidi, they don't have the capital to develop and comply with this blacklist system. This is truly catastrophic for our industry if this bill passes. I see the comments from the Voron crowd. I build kits. I'm safe. They can't ban parts. You are underestimating how aggressive a state can be. There is a little thing called spirit of the law. And if a company ships you a box of parts that is intended to become a non-compliant printer, they would be liable. I know this because I've lived it. I was once on the receiving end of a lawsuit from a state government. They sued me for, let's just say, tens of millions of dollars. I didn't violate a single law. My company followed every rule, but the state felt I wasn't complying with the spirit or the intent of the regulations. What they wanted was access to my customer records. But I stood my ground, and I made it clear that I would spend every last penny I had protecting the privacy and rights of my customers. They didn't care about the letter of the law. They cared about control. And they used their infinite budget to try and crush me civilly. This is what will happen to those kit companies. The state will sue them into oblivion until they stop shipping to you. This bill won't be the last. And if it doesn't pass this session, they will try again next session. And what comes next? That's called a cleanup bill. If this bill passes, it is all but certain that it will be followed by additional legislation. Bills that make any or all existing 3D printers or 3D printing kits illegal if they don't connect and comply with their spyware. The costs will be enormous for these companies, and they will almost certainly be forced to implement these privacy and freedom invading systems. But they won't be just for Washington. They will be forced on the entire country likely, and maybe even the world. And then don't get me started on filament. All they have to do is declare PLA or PTG bad for the environment, label it single-use plastic, and they can crush the entire industry with regulatory pressure overnight. They don't need to ban the printers if they just ban the fuel. I know, every, everyone thought that my dystopian three-printer banning idea was too far-fetched. Well, here it is. We are watching an industry being suffocated by people who do not understand it. But we are not powerless. These proposed laws don't make sense because they are written by people who fear what we can create. We need to change that narrative. We need to educate the public.
We need to show them that 3D printing is about innovation, it's about repair, and it's about creativity, not just scary ghost guns. Now, I want you to respectfully contact your representatives. I'll have that information in the description below, but do not be a troll, right? Be a creator, be a uniter, share your stories. Tell them how these laws crush creative freedom. Tell them how they violate your right to expression. The question is this, will the 3D printing companies just give up or will they fight for us? I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. And also YouTube wants you to go watch this one. But I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping it's one to two videos. Either it's the video that came right before this one or it's uh, my dystopian future where three printers are banned. Go watch it.